Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the instant match reaction. Everton getting beat 4 0 by Crystal Palace in the FA quarter final. I mean, what is the point? What is the point? What is the point of this uh, Everton team? It is an absolute. It's just, a, it's just a joke, isn't it? You know, Thursday night we got a little bit of a break, obviously getting the win. Um, but today, just criminal again. Just, just we're just a really, really bad team, aren't we? You know, just a really, really bad. To be honest, I wasn't really even that, even that asked about this game because I was thinking because it. I'm thinking about the league. I'm thinking this was a break away from the league, so I never really got stressed about it. But then you watch them play, and when you watch them play, how can you not feel like really, really worried about the coming games? You know, it's a quarter final of an FA Cup. It's a big game. You know, it's going to be difficult because Palace have been good this season, and you know, you know, you're playing away. But just the just the way we fall apart is just abysmal. We started really well again, first fifteen minutes or whatever it was, and then unfortunately Townsend got a bad injury. And then we stopped. And it was almost like and what <laughs> I know we started well, but we didn't actually do anything apart from the one Michael Keane chance. Uh off the free kick, I think it was, or off the set piece. And then we sort of just run out of energy and then they just started using the ball. And first chance to get from a corner, they score dead easy, no, no, no problems at all. You know, scored then another one from what is just abysmal. Seamus Coleman, Godfrey, the Corey, you know, Mason Holgate, the goalkeeper. What, what, what are you as all? Watch the Corey for the second goal, and that typifies Everton this season. Just, just watch him. Watch the goal again and watch. He just, he's running, he's not running fast, he's just running, and he's looking at other people to do things, when really he should be working his bollocks off there to get back. You know, with that day, that an opportunity before that, cross came across, I think Michael Keane should have dealt with it, and then, you know, just goes wide. And then the second goal, look at both of the goals. Come, I think both of the goals start down the left-hand side, and... We've got just players running and trying to stop. And all they've got to do is play one pass inside. And there's a couple of players available. Yes, the third goal is very, very lucky. But watch the players. Watch the players, how much they try. There's nothing there. And when you watch other teams, when you watch them, there's a, there's a, there's a level of organisation Ours, you watch them sometimes, and the organisation is that of kids' football. Players all chasing after the ball. Players should never chase after the ball. You should always have players in their in their positions to deal with the ball. And it's 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 when I watch games like that, I really do feel that there's nothing down for us. I really do. Because the players look gone. They look like once that first goal went, it was here we go again. It's the mentality, but also I I have to say I'm a little bit, little bit baffled with Frank Lampard, and his and his choices today. Starting with three at the back or five at the back because it's always five at the back, and then the choices in the second half, moving Gordon to left wing back, Michalenko and Patterson on the bench. Why not just bring them on for the last twenty minutes? Why not just bring them on and just go four, put four at the back? I, I, I don't, I don't understand things like that. Listen, I'm not blaming him. I'm not blaming him. But what I'm saying is, I just don't get. I just don't understand what he's trying to do. I, I, I'd much prefer it if he just stuck to one formation and just went with that for the rest of the season. Because I just, again, we've only got two midfield. Uh, what is it with Everton managers and obsession with playing two midfield? We are not good enough. We are not good enough to play two midfield. If you can't, if you haven't got any more players, find a player to play in there. You know whether it be Anthony Gordon or or whoever, or even if you put someone like Holgate in there, I don't know. But we cannot play with two midfield. And listen, I'm not. I'm not. 
I'm not that arsed. By the way, that we're not in a semi-final, which I should be. I know I should be, but I'm not. Because we would, we'd would we be facing Chelsea or Liverpool or City or whatever, and they'd, they'd destroy us. I'm not you know, not stupid. They'd destroy us. Absolutely destroy us. And I'm not, I'm not interested in this all be a good day out kind of thing. I'm not asked. That football team don't deserve a good day out. Fans do, but... But I'm not interested in these good days out thing. I'm just I'm there's there's no point in them. No point when you know what the what's gonna end up. Um But we scored what? One goal. One goal in in the last five games or whatever it is. It's <sighs> I just I watch performances like that and I just don't know how I just don't know how anyone can be really, really terrified. You know, fans go down, fans this morning leaving at like four, five o'clock in the morning to get to this game, a pathetic kickoff time. And that's what they're saved up with. And I I don't know. Listen, we're just a mess. We're just a mess. An absolute mess. Nothing seems to work. Richardson playing up front doesn't work because no one supports him. Dom comes on and then we don't, like, that's the other thing. Dom comes on the pitch, then get wit. Get proper wit. Not wing-backs, wit. Know how to use a player. And listen, I'm not I'm not going to... Listen, I, people will... People will say, you're not allowed to have a goal, Frank Lampard. But I, I don't quite understand what he's trying to do. I don't understand. Make it easy for these players. Make it as easy as you possibly can by playing 4-3-3 every game or 4-2-3-1 every game. We could have played 4-2-3-1 today. Easy, but that's what we could have played. That's what maybe what we have to play now. So why aren't we already playing it? Don't. These are also the worst players. This is the worst team I've ever seen in my life, by the way. The worst team. Forget 98, forget 94, 99, whatever. This is the worst Everton team that I've ever seen. And we have to simplify things to for them. We have to think oh, we have to simplify it. It's as simple as that. <coughs> and I I think I think the manager has got to get um a hold of the situation. Because I know I know like listen, he's been at the club for what, six weeks? Maybe we should be seeing a little bit of an improvement. The players are terrible, I understand that. So simplify things. But I, I don't quite get why you wouldn't bring on Michalenko to play left-back and you wouldn't bring Patterson to play right-back and go four at the back. Who's asked? Get Let them have minutes. I don't get that. We're playing the same old play. If he comes out again and says, oh, well, we've got Seamus Coleman at right-back. Seamus Coleman is done. He's done. He's run his race. He's getting, coming to the end of it now. Start introducing new players. Start introducing new players. Listen, as I said, not not sitting here going, it's Lampard's fault. It's not Lampard's fault. It is, it's six years of the worst recruitment in maybe in the history of football that has led to this point. That's what the, the cause is. Um. The club has been eroded, eroded, eroded away, and it needs it needs uh, ripping up and starting again. But I watched Everton there, and we were two 0 down in that second half, and nobody, nobody even did anything. No one even tried. Anthony Gordon is stuck out on the left, and he's not can't affect the game. I thought in the first half when he was playing through the middle, I thought he was having a little bit of effect on the game. He needs to sort of self out with his. You know, with that final ball, but at least he's having a go. It's just, it's just bad. It's just bad. It's just really, really bad. And we've got, I'm glad we've got two weeks off now because I just can't cope with them any longer. Like first night was boss, but it was boss because it was boss because of the fans, because of the release winning the game. We didn't play particularly well. I don't think anyone can say we. Won. You can, Everton can put out as many um, videos as they want of the celebrations. It doesn't mean we played well. Um, we scored the goal and we won a game and it was an amazing feeling because it was pure relief and pure joy because that's where we are but we didn't play well and today it's been even worse so 
where where where's the improvements? Where's the improvements? I don't see it. Obviously, we were missing Alan today. We were missing um, Donny Van der Beek, Delhi, those kind of players. Listen, they haven't set the world on fire. Don't, don't get me wrong, but just in terms of the squad, we were very limited in that centre midfield today. But players, no heart, no desire, and um, you what you look at them and they just look clueless. And it's infectious as well. That cluelessness is infectious by the looks of it. It really is infectious. It seems to rub off from one player onto the next. And now it's just spread all around the team. Um, and you, you see it. Every single player just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse as it, as we go along. And I don't. I, I know the manager said on Thursday night he wanted that to be the re, the, the 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 reset. You know. But there isn't, it isn't though, is it? Wasn't the reset because the players have to go away from home and they can't take it. So it's going to be a very, very difficult running. Got to go to Burnley. Got to go to Watford. They're not very good teams, but now they're away and we're playing them away. Um, sad. Very, very sad. Uh, we are just a pathetic, pathetic football club, and that's this is where we are now. Getting beaten in the quarter final, four 0 by Crystal Palace. Pathetic, absolutely pathetic. Palace look good. They look good, young, energetic side. F- the managers filled them with really good, um, young, hungry, athletic football players with a little bit of steel and bit of grit, bit of determination. And fair play to them. That's everything that we haven't done, and they've done it on a shoestring as well. So fair play to them. Um, they are the exact opposite of what we are, and that's why they beat us four 0 today. So, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, I'll be back to do my play ratings very, very shortly. Make sure you check out Baz's videos as well. We'll be doing the final word tomorrow over on Patreon Live. So, check that out as well. Thanks for watching. See you later.